What does it take to be Chicago's top investigative reporter? It takes examining every angle, opening every door, chasing down every lead. Gowdy here, I found To uncover the important stories you won't find anywhere else. IT has obtained official records. It takes a lot to be Chicago's leader in investigative reporting. It takes a team that knows Chicago and a reporter who lives it. Chuck Gowdy and the ABC 7i team. People make the difference. The images of baseball. He digs in, grips the bat. Then, 14-year-old Sean Morley's heart stopped. The pitch struck him in the chest. I'm ABC 7's Ron Majors. A portable defibrillator like this one saved Sean's life. There's no doubt these machines work. So why aren't more of them already in public places? And would you be willing to use one? Shocking success, Wednesday on ABC 7 News at 10. Tuesday at 10, convicted sex offenders hidden inside flawed files. My name is Marco Polo. Is that you? No. They're not who the police say they are. How could something like that happen? Wrong names, addresses, even disguises. Is that you? Mm -hmm. Why do you look like that? Their identities a mirage. You're no 200-pound white male. That's bogus. Is the system an illusion? The Flawed Files, an ABC7 I-Team investigation, Tuesday at 10. When a child is kidnapped, time is the enemy. The first hour, the most critical. Saving even minutes can save a life. Now, Illinois has a new system, giving you the immediate information needed to bring missing children home safely. I'm ABC 7's Kathy Brock. See how Illinois' new Amber Alert system can help save kidnapped children by using the highways, the media, even you. Amber Alert, Friday on ABC 7 News at 10. Clock's ticking, and she wants it all. The guy, the career, the children. Women are being told not to put off childbirth. But what if they could choose when they get pregnant? Actually stop their biological clock. I'm ABC 7's Sylvia Perez. Revolutionary new technology could now give women the choice of freezing their own eggs to have a baby later in life. See how planning a family could soon give women an alternative they've never had before. Stopping the Clock, a Health Beat special segment, Thursday at 10. He was the FBI. For 50 years, his job was to fight crime, not order it. It's disgusting. But time after time, he bullied enemies in Chicago with blackmail and illegal tactics. Yet the proof was elusive. Till now. We had burglary tools. So there was one way of hiding the fact that it was illegal. The ABC 7 I team takes you inside his secret files, rotted by corruption. Chuck Gowdy reports Hoover Confidential, Thursday at 10. is the Bucks. The Bucks look prime for a Super Bowl run, but can the Bears play spoiler and extend the NFL's most chilling streak? Tampa's lost 18 in a row when it's under 40 degrees, and we all know about winter here. Catch the game on ABC7. Plus, your ABC7 sports team takes you right up till game time with analysis and a look ahead for next season. Bears Bucks. Pre-game at 7, kickoff at 7:20, Sunday night on ABC7. Lady, want to watch the big game? I'm a labradoodle. Me? <laughs> labradoodle? It's Pout Lab, Pout Poodle. And you're a puggle. What do you call puggle, dog breath? Easy, Scrappy. It's just your mix. Oh, like part pug, part beagle. Right, it is designer mix. Might not shed, can be healthier, great with kids. Now pass pepperonis. Designer dogs, Monday at 10. Brilliant! When it comes to news, ABC7 knows what it takes. With decades of experience, teamwork, and dedication, we have the people and the stories that make a difference. From morning till night, more people watch ABC7 News than any other station. 
It's information you need from people you can trust. And one more reason why you've made ABC7 Chicago's number one choice for news. Every morning, you need to know what's happening in your world. And Chicago's number one morning team brings it to you. Jose Sanders and Judy Sue with the latest headlines and news as it happens. Plus, when you need to get where you're going, Tracy Butler and Roz Varen bring you up-to-the-minute reports with weather and traffic on the sevens. Start your day right with Chicago's number one news. ABC 7 News This Morning. Weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. It's a new world. Beginning at noon, Chicago. Good riddance. Day by day. Story by story. To return charges against Ryan. Federal ABC 7 News. The 66 year old defang dictator now in American hands, President Bush. Experienced. Accurate. Innovative news coverage. U.S. Special Forces troops have rescued the On every headline. That right there, a fan interference. The tough ones. And the tender. Firefighters rescued two children from the apartment fire. The faces you know. The people you trust. ABC 7 News. People make the difference. On the Enya beat. But you got an view robbery victim 25th. Guns, drugs, and murder. No closer than she is to me. I got shot at. That's life in Chicago's Latino gangs. But there is a way out. I don't want my kids to go through the same thing. ABC 7's Teresa Gutierrez looks inside Latino gangs through the eyes of former members and shows how they can start a new life. If you can change one person's life, then you've made a difference. The Enya beat, Sunday at 11.05 on ABC 7. What do you do when there's nowhere to call home? Life and liberty swept away in the torrent of a hurricane. Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Daddy's where mommy at? How do you start over? Where do you go? And who will help? The state of Illinois became the state of hope. ABC 7's Harry Porterfield takes a hard, yet hopeful look at Chicago's evacuee families. Their stories of tragedy and of triumph. People, places, and things when you need a hand. Saturday at 6. Actually, September 11th made me proud in the way um, the, the country reacted. When you say red, white, and blue, I feel an unbelievable power. To be an American, I think, means to be free in every sense of the word. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else, that's for sure. Nine eleven changed my perspective on over how humanity we all realize that hey we're all Americans, you know, he may be white or she may be black, but American nonetheless. I'm not an Irish American, I'm an American. Muslims, non-Muslims, Christians, Jews, they all had a sense of let's rebuild our community, let's make it better. Let's learn from this, let's work together. We'll show the world what it is to be American. For spacious skies. I have a daughter who's six years old, and when I leave in the morning, I think I start to realize it's the little things I start to appreciate more in life now. Her just looking at you, holding your hand, giving you a kiss goodbye. Whereas before, if I was running a little late in the morning, I, I would just run out the door without saying goodbye to my wife, and now I make it a point every morning to say goodbye to her and to tell her that I love her. From sea to shining sea.